With April fast approaching, so too come the Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom toys. So for the occasion, I decided to review the Papo Running T-Rex. Now, I believe there are two other variants of this design. Uh, a green one and a brown one, if I'm wrong. Please correct me, but I believe those two are the uh, different ones. As well as uh, another design of a T-Rex that stands up like this. Mm, now, Papo is a French manufacturing company. Uh, and they specialize on dinosaur designs. Really good ones at that, if you ask me. Dinosaur toys. Uh, no, this specific T-Rex is based off the Jurassic Park model. I believe uh, uh, the Buck Rex from The Lost World. But what's strange about it is <clears throat> the bottom jaw seems to be based off the Vetosaurus Rex or the V-Rex from um, uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong from 2015, if I'm correct. But it seems to be, this T-Rex seems to be extremely malnourished. <laughs> Uh, you can see its bones, its its eyes are deeply sunken in. And the reason why I say it's based off the T-Rex from Jurassic Park is you can see it barely has any binocular vision. It can't see very good what's in front of it. While the real T-Rex did have extremely good binocular vision. The only problems I see with this toy is the um, the arms seem too long. For a T-Rex, T-Rexes are famous for their short arms, but this is this this seems like an Allosaurus arm if you just gave it a third finger. It's really long. Another problem that uh, it's it's just a nitpick is this tooth that just pokes out like this. It's really good seeing it like this, with its tooth perfectly aligned right there. But once you open it, it really sticks out. I'm not gonna take it out though because part of the design and it gives it this really wild type of feel to it. Another thing I really like about this toy is um, the back right here in the neck area it seems very crocodilian like. Uh, it stops uh, right about here and it goes back to normal scales. And another thing that I really like about this toy is the feet. They're painted differently from the leg, more white here, more dark here. You can see that these are really bird feet. Look at these. They're amazing. Absolutely fascinating. But because it's really malnourished, you can really see its bones as well. You can see the calves. Very strong, muscular. As well as the tail, you see that? You can see the veins running through there. Absolutely beautiful. See the muscular right here as well. Very good. Uh, the, the paint design about this dinosaur is something that at first I really didn't like, but it really grew on me. I, have, uh, I really love it. It has this blue ridge going around right here, as well as uh, purple, I think. Purple right here, and this goldenness right here, yellow, and then uh, white, and then black. It also has, if I don't know if you can see it from here, but it has yellow spots running down right here on the back. And red eyes, which look gorgeous. Oh, another thing that I should probably mention is the mouth. You can see it's all well painted up there. The neck is also very well painted here. The tongue. You rarely see this in dinosaur's toys because they're rarely painted inside there because you know they don't take a lot they don't lot they don't put a lot of effort into their dinosaur toys. But Papa really hit it out of the park with this one. Also, you barely see the fingers ever painted as well if you look at the Jurassic Park toys. These guys are painted to perfection. This is, this is a must-have for any dinosaur collector.